Greetings, scholars. Uh, today we are going to be looking at a I-step slash SAT style problem concerning uh, volumes of rectangular prisms. Uh, so this says that the two rectangular prisms are similar. Find the ratio of their volumes. Uh, so the first thing that I think it's important when we're looking at an I-STEP or an SAT or an ACT style question is thinking about what assumptions we need to be able to solve uh, this problem. And so we're going to read through the directions here and we're going to think about what some of these terms mean. Uh, so we have two rectangular prisms. And I'm going to circle or underline two things that I think are pretty important. So this concept of similar, and then ratios of volumes. So remember, similar means that we have the same shape, different size. Ratio of the sides are the same. So I think that's one thing that we need to um, be looking at that's pretty important. Another thing that we need to be thinking about is what is the volume of a rectangular prism. So I'm going to say that the volume is length times width times height. Now, the big trap that people have when they are answering this question is they say, oh, I see that this side is 10 meters, and I see that this side is 5 meters. So 10 over 5 is 2. So this means that, well, the shape is twice as big. So maybe in the sense of comparing sides, we're saying that the sides are twice as big, but that does not necessarily mean uh, that the volume of the two shapes is twice as big. Uh, so what we need to do first is we need to come up with the assumptions. Uh, so we got our um, length, we got our width, and we got our height on the first shape. But on the second shape, I only have the length and the width and the height. And I need to find the width. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up a proportion so that I can be able to... Uh, come up with that width. So we are comparing the big shape to the small shape in my uh, proportion. And we should know that the 6 comes from our big shape. So our small shape, uh, we need to find the width of our small shape. And when we cross multiply, we get 10w equals 30. So I'm going to write that in. And that means that w is 3. Now, these numbers work out pretty nice. But could somebody maybe tell me, uh, even without setting up a proportion, why we know that that W is equal to 3. So now we're going to compute the volumes of the two shapes. Um, so it's asking us to find the ratios of the volumes, and we're assuming that it is the big shape to the small shape. So I'm going to still do big to small. So I'm going to do big volume first. I'll call it big V. And I'm going to use my length times width times height. So I get 10 times 12 times 6. And when I go to my calculator to compute that, or maybe you can even uh, do it in your head, I get 720. And then I'm going to do my little v. So this is the volume of my little shape. And 
and I'm going to do uh, for this 5 times 6. Well, actually, I'm going to do the width, which is 3 times 6. So we're just multiplying those three sides. And what we end up with as a result, let me get my calculator out. So I got 5 times 3 times 6, and I get 90. And the last thing I need to do is just find the ratio. So this means that I compare big V to little v. So I'm going to do 720 divided by 90. Which comes out to, if we simplify, um, 8 goes into, 10 goes into uh, that. It just comes out to 8 to 1, which corresponds to answer choice D. Um, another way that we could kind of uh, think about this and why we are multiplying our volume times 8, if we make a shape that has twice the length of our small shape, so that would be 2L, and then we multiply by 2 times W, and we multiply by 2 times the height, so this means that our sides are twice as big in the bigger shape as the little shape. We get 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8 times length times width times height. Uh, so this way is actually a quicker and easier way that we can uh, find the ratio between the two volumes uh, without doing so much computation. So if somebody asks you true or false, if the sides are twice as big, that means that the size of your shape or the total volume of your shape is twice as big, what are you going to answer? False. Uh, that's one of the common misconceptions that we have uh, for this type of problem. Uh, thank you for joining me on this ISTEP slash SAT slash ACT sample problem. And I hope that you use some of these strategies in your own answering 